All right, hello everybody. Uh, there's my car. That's my cage. My 750 there. And uh, there's my Yamaha R6. And I'm on my Pacific Coast 800 right now. Uh, going out to run some errands. And I figured since it might rain, I don't feel like dealing with bungee cords and shopping bags today. So I'll take the caddy bike. By the way, I've got a trunk to keep everything dry. And I was intending on going up the interstate and making a quick run to uh, my main part of this mission, but I believe I will uh, take the back road, go the back way. Um, and discuss a few things I got on my mind. Uh, which, uh, let's see. Hey, how about motorcycle mileage? Um, a lot of people are scared of uh, high mileage motorcycles. You know, they go look at a used uh, Yamaha or whatever and they're like, man, that's got too many miles on it. It's 10, 12,000 miles. That's too much. Well, this one here has uh, 46,700 and change. Of course, it is a Honda, and it lasts forever. But uh, the problem with motorcycles in high mileage tends to be not that the uh, motorcycle needs to be rebuilt or can't last as long as a car. It uh, usually comes down to two things. One is maintenance, lack of, and the other is they normally get crashed out. Uh, people get them and act like idiots and uh, get more than they can handle. They bite off more than they can chew. And on the size factor, uh, that's another topic I had in mind, which is I want a smaller bike. My wife is going to start riding uh, this year. I taught her how to ride around the parking lot last year. And she had so much fun. She wants to go take the MSF and get out here and play with me. And she, at first, had thought about driving the uh, Kawasaki 750 of it. And of course, I'm 6'2", so it doesn't matter what I ride. I have no problem um, getting on it. I don't have any problem uh, touching the ground or flat footing them when I'm stopped. Uh, it's a little different for her. She's a little shorter. She's around five, five, six, somewhere in there. And uh, she can't quite reach the ground as easily as I can. So in order for her to be comfortable and enjoy it as much as possible getting into the sport, I want her to uh, start out on something she's fully comfortable in her abilities to handle it um, so you know this this bike here is an 800 um, of course the Yamaha is a 600 super sport and my Kawasaki is a 750 and they're loads of fun uh, this of course compared to say the 600 or the 750 has no power even though it's a larger engine it's all got to do with um, the power band and peak power and the way the engine's set up to deliver that power um, but you have more fun it seems like winding out smaller bikes to me anyway if I want to get on the Yamaha and romp it I'm pretty much uh, breaking the law by the time it starts to get where it's fun so that's the downside the big bikes is uh, one thing is a fun factor um, of course I believe that uh, well I know 250's are a ton of fun one of the gals that rides with us rides a 250 and uh, she had a Suzuki SV650 which is another one of my dream bikes <coughs> And 
she got rid of it to get one of the 08 ninjas when they came out and it doesn't matter if you know how to ride um, you can keep up in the mountains where it's fun where it counts it's not the size it's how you ride anyway uh, so I took my wife down here to the Honda place or well the motorcycle place they sell Honda, Kawasaki, Yamaha, a bunch of them and I let her sit on them see what she liked and, uh, the one they had that she liked was the Kawasaki Ninja 500 EX 500 or 500R whatever it's called now and uh, I thought that's cool I mean it's a, a little bike that's been the same since what in the middle 80s and It'll be a fun one to ride. Speaking of 80s model bike, this is 89 model. Uh, this bike right here, and it's nice enough to get out and have fun. But it's it's made me think. I've got three motorcycles that it is, and she wants one. I'm thinking, you know, maybe just maybe. Well, ain't no maybe about it. I need to. Uh, reconsider my collection and I need to sell something uh, keeping tires on three motorcycles is no fun it's not that bad on this you know you get 10,000 or more miles uh, per set out of the life of these but it lives a pretty much laid back life whereas like uh, on my Yamaha hey see I just about got run over by some dude not even looking yeah that's cool that's <laughs> that's the one thing I say to my wife is it, it's kind of handy to have the power where you need it it's the only thing I've ever had a fear of on smaller bikes but I'm not paying attention and seeing the guy coming over I knew what was gonna happen just like so many things out here you've got to pay attention or you'll be flattened quick um, so anyway I've been thinking about selling bike of course and this is one of the ones I'm thinking about getting rid of uh, just because I don't get to use it like I wish I well like I had intended to when I first bought it anyway here near the Honda store so uh, of course I'll make a separate vlog being stupid about what I'm running for probably you guys have a good day and I'll catch you later